one month after the death of Eric Garner in an apparent police chokehold. Bratton is planning a pilot program for 50 cops to get body cameras, which experts think will cut down on incidents of both police misconduct and citizens resisting arrest. I'm wearing a body-worn camera. Todd Morris of Brickhouse Security said the technology is simple and the cameras cost only $200 each. This gives a point of view video of what the police officer has seen. The problem is the camera isn't always rolling and it's up to the cop to activate. You've got to push this button to turn on the recording. And what happens if you're in a stressful situation and you need to reach for your gun, run, jump in front of someone to protect them, and don't get a chance to push that button before you do it. I'm concerned, of course, that these cameras be technologically perfect, and I think that that's been the mayor's concern. City council members are planning a hearing about all of this next month. Vanessa Gibson is the chair of the Public Safety Committee. I like body cameras. I know they have worked in other cities. There has to be a genuine, across-the-board culture shift at the police department. Now, so far, the Patrolman's Benevolent Association, the police union, has not weighed in on this planned pilot program with the 50 uh, body cameras. One concern that's been raised by a number of groups is both the cost of storing all of the video that's recorded by these cameras and also privacy concerns, how long that police stops might be kept on video, where it would be stored. A lot of those are the specifics that need to be worked out. One other note, worth noting that the police commissioner sharply defended critics of his department and said that he is going to turn around the NYPD and make it a leader in technology across the country. Live outside of one police plaza tonight, Andrew Sip, News 4 New York.